Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raudkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. <clears throat> Here, we are given that uh, if the coefficients of r, r plus 1 and the r plus 2nd term in the expansion of this r in AP, 1 plus x whole power r in AP, then we have to show this. Fine. Now, how to solve this? What is the concept that we are going to use? Here, we are going to first get the general term, I mean get the general term, then we are going to find out the coefficients of r, r plus 1 and r plus 2nd terms in this expansion, fine. And then AP arithmetic progression, fine, that's how we are going to proceed. So if you are interested to know this question with clarity and not just mug up, you don't just want to mug it up, watch this video till the end. Chala. The general term in the expansion of 1 plus x whole power n, yes. This is a basic formula, T r plus 1 equal to n c r, 1 power n minus r into x power r. Okay, n c r, 1 power n minus, because the first here we have 1, so 1 power n minus r, and in x we have second, then into x power r. Fine. What is this 1 power n minus r? 1 power anything generally gives 1, so T r plus 1 will be nothing but n c r into x power r. Fine. Now, what are they asking in our question? Coefficients of the rth. Okay, uh, I guess uh, this question is a little incomplete. If the coefficients of rth, r plus 1, then r plus 2nd terms. Fine. Fine. Now, how to get this rth, the coefficient of rth term? Coefficients, coefficient of rth term. The general formula gives us r plus 1 term. Understand? Listen carefully. The general formula gives us r plus 1 term. Okay. Fine. Now we want the coefficient of r term. Here we are general formula. Listen carefully, guys. It's very important. General formula gives us <clears throat> r plus 1 term. But we need the coefficient of r term first. To get the coefficient of r, to get first r -th term, then we will find the coefficient. To get the r -th term, put r, in place of r, put r minus 1, okay. In place of r, put r minus 1. If you will do this, in place of r, you see this, right. In this, in place of r, put r minus 1. So, what I would get is, t r minus 1 plus 1 is equal to n c r minus 1 x power r minus 1 into x power r minus 1 dot. Okay. Fine. Now, if you observe this, a t r minus 1 plus 1. In place of r, I put r minus 1 plus 1. I mean, in place of r, I put r minus 1 in this equation. If you will do this, so what you would get is, a minus 1 plus 1 cancel, t r equal to, what you would get is t r is equal to n c r minus 1 into x power r minus 1. Now, what they are asking? They are asking us the coefficient of rth term. Coefficient of rth term. That means, that means the coefficient, if, if they are asking us the coefficient of rth term, fine. It means that we should only consider this. You need not take the x power r minus 1. The coefficient is in this term as n c r minus 1. The coefficient of rth term in the above expansion is ncr minus 1. Now you understood why it is ncr minus 1. Don't just mug it up like ncr minus 1, ncr, nc. No. What is the next thing that they are asking? The coefficient of r plus 1th term. If you see, if you see, this is actually our r plus 1th term. So what is its coefficient? ncr. So this one's coefficient is ncr. Coefficient of r plus 1th term in the above expression, expansion is ncr. Now next we have to find out the coefficient of r plus 2nd term. For that, in place of r, just put r plus 1 because r plus 1 plus 1 will give me r plus 2. See, t r plus 1 plus 1 is nothing but nc r plus 1 into x bar r plus 1. If you will simplify it, you would get t r plus 2 is equal to nc r plus 1 x bar r plus 1 dot x. So, here the coefficient is nc r plus 1. The coefficient of r plus 2nd term in the above expansion is ncr plus 1. 
so you understood how i got it don't just mug it up like don't just remember like okay ncr maths and ncr ncr no in exam uh, sometimes what could happen in, in exam you'll go <clears throat> this question came then you are like coefficient of r determinants you might feel you might directly take it as ncr 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 plus 1 ncr plus 2 then your entire question will go wrong you're getting me right don't mug up understand okay fine so r plus second term is this and the coefficient is just ncr plus 1 fine now it is given that the coefficients of r the r plus 1 and r plus second okay here also i forgot second terms second terms the coefficients of r r plus 1 and r plus second terms in the expansion of this are in ep hence what are those terms which we got ncr minus 1 ncr and ncr plus 1 fine so that basically means that these three terms are in ep ncr minus 1 ncr and ncr plus 1 are in ep now what is this ap ap is not andhra pradesh okay <laughs> fine andhra pradesh or arunachal pradesh okay fine ap here means uh, arithmetic progression fine uh, whenever three terms in are, are in arithmetic progression okay whenever three terms are in arithmetic progression what will happen is two times the center term is equal to sum of the other two terms that means two times the center term this two times ncr is equal to ncr minus 1 plus ncr plus 1 fine so that's what you will see like two times the middle term two times ncr equal to ncr minus 1 plus ncr plus 1 okay now now how to solve this there are other like you can solve it in some other ways as well you can just see how i have solved fine that i will not say this is the only way you can use some other method to solve this fine what i am doing is i am sending ncr to the rhs so what i get is this will go into the denominator like 2 is equal to ncr minus 1 by ncr plus ncr plus 1 by ncr fine okay so what i have is ncr minus 1 by ncr uh but i want it of the form ncr by ncr minus 1 what do i want i want it of the form ncr by ncr minus 1 okay now for that send this numerator to the to down so it will get 1 by ncr by ncr minus 1 plus ncr plus 1 by ncr i hope uh, this step is clear i hope this step is clear. fine now there is a formula for this ncr by ncr minus 1 is nothing but n minus r plus 1 by r this one is nothing but n minus r plus 1 by r okay once again i am telling ncr by ncr minus 1 is n minus r plus 1 by r this is a formula now what is this ncr plus 1 by ncr what is this see guys there is a pattern observe it here there is r and here there is r minus 1 n is fixed n is fixed r r minus 1 if you see here also r n is fixed observe this if you see here also n is fixed ncr plus 1 by ncr listen carefully guys listen carefully ncr plus 1 by ncr n is fixed here i have r plus 1 and in the denominator i have r that means one less than this r plus 1 if one less than r plus 1 is r okay here i have r r minus 1 here i have r plus 1 and r so that's why in this formula in this formula in place of r in the same formula you can just put r plus 1 in the same formula that's why you see n minus of r plus 1 plus 1 by r plus 1. the same formula in place of r put r plus 1 in place of r put r plus 1 that's how i get this that's okay i don't want you to mug up anything understand the logic see the formula which i used for this the same formula i am using for this also but in place of r just put r plus 1 the same formula but in place of r put r plus 1 this was important one so i spent some time chalo fine now basic simplification now this r will go to the numerator so 2 is equal to n by i mean r by n minus r plus 1 My, uh, expand this so minus r minus one plus one by r plus one so minus one plus one cancel so what I get is two is equal to r by n minus r plus one plus n minus r by r plus one fine okay now I'm gonna take uh, I mean uh, 
now i'm going to uh, now i'm going to take lcm and just solve it okay fine but before that let's take a short break for one minute fine whenever we sit to study or whenever we want to do something we get distracted right i mean manam oka cheyal anukuntam kani inkota chestundi idi common andarki it's it happens to you it happens to me also then what is the reason i mean how can we make sure that we stay focused ante okate pani meda ela undagalam for that we will need purpose manaki em avasaram పర్పస్ ఒక కారణం కావాలి మనం ఇది ఎందుకు చేస్తున్నాం వై హామ్ ఐ డూయింగ్ దిస్ వీ నీడ్ ద పర్పస్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ వీ విల్ బీ ఎబుల్ టు డూ థింగ్స్ లేకపోతే హవ్ యూ స్ట హవ్ యువర్ స్టడీస్ విల్ బీ లైక్ ఏం చేస్తున్నాం చదువుతున్నాం ఎందుకు చదువుతున్నాం తెలియదు ఏదో చదువుతున్నాం చదవాలి ఇఫ్ యూ విల్ స్టడీ లైక్ దిస్ యు నో యూ విల్ జస్ట్ గెట్ సమ్ మార్క్స్ అండ్ కీప్ గోయింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఇంటర్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఇంటర్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ బీటెక్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ బీటెక్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ డిగ్రీ బీకామ్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ బట్ గాయస్ స్టడ్ గో విత్ అ పర్పస్ వాట్ యూ వాంట్ టు బికమ్ ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు బికమ్ అన్ ఇంజనీర్ ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మేక్ మై పేరెంట్స్ హ్యాపీ ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు గెట్ గుడ్ మనీ లైక్ ఏదైనా రీజన్ వచ్చు హ్యావ్ దట్ ఫోకస్ అప్పుడు వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ దిస్ రీజన్ ఒక రీజన్ ఉందంటే మీకు ఏమవుతుందంటే డిస్ట్రాక్షన్ వచ్చిన ప్రతిసారి లేదు నేను ఇది చెయ్యాలి నాకు ఈ టార్గెట్ ఉంది అండ్ వన్ అదర్ థింగ్ గాయస్ మీరు ఏం చేస్తారంటే యూ గాయస్ కీప్ అన్రియలిస్టిక్ ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్స్ అన్రియలిస్టిక్ ఓ ఒకటేసారి ఏమనుకుంటారంటే లైక్ లెట్స్ దేర్ ఆర్ జూన్లో క్లాసెస్ మొదలవుతాయి ఏమనుకుంటారంటే జనవరి నుంచి కూర్చొని సల్ సిలబస్ అంతా ఇవ్వగొట్టాలి అనుకుంటారు దట్స్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ వై డూ యూ థింక్ ద బోర్డ్ ఎగ్స్ బోర్డ్ హాస్ కెప్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ జూన్ టు మార్చ్ ద క్లాసెస్ వై సో దట్ యూ గాయస్ కెన్ పీస్ఫుల్లీ స్టడీ అనలైజ్ అండ్ గో instead of that you expect how do you think it is possible see from june to december if you will enjoy how can you expect yourself to study to study in january ela avutundi appudu kuda meer chavutunna untaru edo malli ma february lo bayam tho edo koncham chadivi marks tercukon pass no be consistent be consistent and study regularly fine when distractions come if you have a purpose you will be able to stay focused okay fine now let's come back okay quick recap we were here 2 is equal to r by n minus r plus 1 plus n minus r by r plus 1 now i'm taking lcm okay so r into r plus 1 plus this will go here r into r plus 1 n minus r into n minus r plus 1 and denominator will be r plus 1 into n minus r plus 1 basic lcm guys like if you see once again i'll explain see i don't know how many of you get it this will go here this will go here and in the denominator i have r plus 1 into this fine basic lcm now basic simplification guys stay with me r into r is r square r into 1 is r n into n into this bracket minus r into this bracket okay basic expansion in the denominator also r into this bracket plus 1 into this bracket fundamental of expansion okay basic expansion now again n into n is n square n into minus r is minus n r n into 1 is n minus r into n is minus n r minus r into minus r is plus r square minus r into n is minus r here also n r into n is n r r into minus r is minus r square r into 1 is r 1 into this will be same n minus r plus 1 1 into n is n 1 into minus r is minus r and 1 into 1 is 1 i hope i am like not boring you guys but i want to cover this because some of you might have difficulty in understanding how the simplification happens okay chalo now see now let us see the like terms you see r square is there and r square so what i get is 2r square okay likewise if you see r is there and minus r is there so r and r i am just showing the like terms okay here i have r and here i have minus r so they will cancel out each other and next uh, minus nr minus nr and minus nr minus nr minus nr is minus 2 nr this all you will see next here anything else n square plus n no nothing is there are no other like terms if you will see in the denominator so here if you will see plus r is there and minus r is there so they will cancel out each other fine now all after all this is done r square plus r square is 2r square r minus r it goes n plus n square is there minus nr minus nr is minus 2nr plus n is there fine now 
here also rr is gone nr minus r square plus n plus 1 fine now simple send this denominator to the lhs so 2 into this is nothing but equal to this basic simplification multiply the 2 2 nr minus 2 r square plus 2 n plus 2 is equal to this. now bring everything to the rhs bring everything to the rhs if you will do that 0 equal to this four terms are there as it is minus 2 nr minus 2 r square when it will come to the rhs plus 2 r square minus 2 n minus 2 n, fine now again let us check if there are any like terms so 2 r square and 2 r square 4 r square and uh, anything else minus 2 n r and minus 2 n r minus 4 n r and uh, plus n and minus 2 n n minus 2 n is minus n so what i'd get is 2 r square plus 2 r square is 4 r square and minus 2 n r my uh, plus n square is there minus 2 n r minus 2 n r is uh, minus 4 n r and n minus 2 n is minus n and minus 2 is there fine right? now just like uh, write all of this as lhs like 0 equal to this right now in the next slide you will see this equal to 0 nothing much i did not do anything like this i just wrote terms in the rhs and lhs fine and uh, like this i just flipped you understand it now next now they have asked something like a pattern show that n square plus something into something so i am going to get that 4 r square plus if you will see in these two terms in these two terms take minus n common minus n if you will take common here 4 r will remain and plus 1 will remain fine now, uh, write n square in the beginning minus n into this one, I mean 4r plus 1 into n, n into 4r plus 1, I wrote it as 4r plus 1 into n, 4r square I wrote here minus 2. That's it. This is what they had asked us to prove and we proved it. Fine. So, hence proved. Fine. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. Once again, I am telling, please guys, have a purpose and steady with focus and set proper deadlines and have proper goals so that you can achieve them. Fine. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, thank you.